Hello everybody. So I'm just looking at S&P 500. So we're looking at the five minutes. Go the 15 minutes. And I got my line. 32.37 is where the entry is for a sell. So we'll see if that if it's going to go into a sell. Uh, you know, the best is to break and retest. But if there's a lot of momentum, you can take it down. And you don't need to worry about the break and the retest. But uh, I don't think there's going to be a super amount of momentum because now it's building into a green. Uh, well, it's a new hour, so this is a new candle, so we'll see. But it, it the wick's uh, a lot higher than the last wick, so that's telling me that it kind of wants to come up. So we'll see. But 3237 to the 3207 is Dr. Kathy's call. Um, you know, based on support and resistance zones. So, you know, you look at there, there's that, that there, these different zones. So that's what she's calling it at about. So for example, she had 3257 before as a, as a sell. So if people would have had that as a sell, um, I think that would have hit the TP. So it's 3226. Now I wasn't available to do that trade. I was busy in the morning, but it was, um, that was be the, the, the trade. Right, I mean, what is that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine candles. So, you know, that's about at 10, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So that's when, when it started happening, when the 3257 was breached. And took it down to 32.26. So that would have hit the TP. 300 pips there. So, you know, it, it was going down on the SMA. And, uh, you know, it broke that resistance with a lot of power. Because the dollar was uh, strengthening in the, in the later morning. So it's uh, kind of messing around. So we'll see. I don't know how much momentum it'll have this morning. I mean this night, but if it goes hard, you know, it could definitely hit the TP as well. 32.37 to 32.07, 300 pips. Now, if you just get 100 pips on a 0 0.05 lot size, that's $50 US dollars. Uh, now, if you get 300 pips, that's $150. Um, you know, you're going to lose some trades and, and in this is no doubt about it. But if you get really good at the candlestick reading, and then it's just bingo, bango. So on the I am elite treat ideas, it says the coordinates, right? It's not, it's not like I get secret access to it. Everybody can get access when they join the academy, and they can uh, see this. So 300 pips on, uh, you know, a 0 0.1 lot size. That's 300 bucks. So you're shooting for 300 bucks. That's not bad. Now, um, again, you could you could lose the money too, because the stop loss hits the stop loss, or it goes against you, right? Change the direction, retrace back. I mean, a lot of it's psychological too, so you kind of want to learn and demo too with the SPX, because just the big moves, right? The big dollar amount of moves um, compared to currencies, right? When you're learning the game, because you know when you're before, you're like trading for like a few minutes, and all of a sudden it goes down you know, uh, two dollars, three dollars or whatever, that's thirty pips. So it usually doesn't happen as fast in in uh so now it's coming down. Who let's see this thing. Is this gonna go I think it I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. I may enter it. Thirty two thirty seven I may enter it on a zero point zero five. <clears throat> so we'll see. I got, I got a coffee mocha with me. What's the dollar? So the dollar's coming up, but now I just kind of want to retrace. So that's kind of, I don't know. We'll see. I'd like to see the dollar get really strong if I want to take that for a sell where it goes up to about like 94.7, 94.79 for the next like, 30 to an hour um you know get your 50 100 pips in that time so be it 
and then uh, you know you're off to a good start and you can take it again like literally I was seeing the SPX you know do so many different ups and downs like 10 100 pips that it was like doing like 9 10 times and the only way you can lose on those trades if you just don't follow the candlesticks very well and you get into trade when there's just not I mean you still can lose it even if the candlesticks are looking good but you have a lot better chance if you're following the candlesticks religiously so do do yeah I don't know I get it's not just about sometimes how it works with like air, comparing it sometimes the S&P 500 will just kind of ride because um because the dollar's been been weakening for the last like you know five hours or something like that and then it just enables that the power of the S&P 500 which is the top 500 companies to really gain some momentum so um, you know then there could be some news that I just don't know too about the S&P 500 but for the most part it kind of just you know tracks just the dollar because I mean it's just basically just getting money funneled into it right like realistically the spy should be around 2000 or $1500 right I mean if you do the P the PE ratios compare it to you know before then it should be so we'll see what other things are kind of moving so now with uh who XAG 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 the silver Hmm. Some consolidation. It's just it's just iffy, right? Is it is the gold gonna go higher tonight or gonna go lower? I mean, just look at this baby. Look at that baby. Gold baby baby. So that is what's up. Uh, you know, the wicks are pretty much the same as the all-time high of gold in the U.S. dollar. Now, for other currencies, gold is at record highs. So, that is why gold is a good hedge against inflation. And I've known about this for quite a while. So, yeah, just kind of messing around. Two. Ooh. GBP AU. Interesting. I don't know if it's going to happen with the SPX setting up into a cell. Maybe in the next hour. Just has to probably to do with the dollar. Yeah, dollar doesn't have that much strength, but you know, if it gets that candle on the other side from 94.57 all the way to 94.63 you know in the next half hour or something like that if it gets one of those and then it gets up to the other ones that'll really have a big move yeah a lot of big movements in the dollar today very erratic very erratic so some people say the USD CAD is similar to the dollar, the way it, tr it tracks, fairly similar. It's not the same. I don't think that looks exactly the same, but it's a, it's, I think that's a different time frame maybe. Yeah, I don't think it's the exact same because Canadian dollar really will play havoc on that dollar system. So let's Yeah. 
that's one hour. Now let, let me look at my trained eye. Look at the one hour there. Yeah, it's fairly similar. That's very, very similar. So when you're looking at XAG, you look at the details, okay? So how much is a contract size? 5,000, right? So if you're gonna play this, you have to understand whatever you do, you times it by that. And then you can figure out how much ounces of, of silver you're getting when you're playing this. This. So if you're doing 0 0.1, you're playing with 500 ounces in a contract. You're, you're, so, and if you get 1.0, you're playing with 5,000 ounces, right? So 5,000 ounces, it moves 0 0.10. You're going to lose $500, right? So that's kind of why it can be sketchy. For gold, what's the details? A hundred, a hundred for the ounce, right? So you get in 0 0.04, you're getting uh, four ounces for the contract. Same thing with uh, XBT, which is platinum, and I'll explain that. Yeah, a hundred. So there you go. Boom. SBX, a hundred. So that's what you're doing. In in not two regular things. That's how you figure it out. Euro GBP, what are you doing? Euro GBP, ooh. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. Is that... Do they want to take the SP500 down? Or do they want to keep it up? <sighs> uh, big bankers can do whatever the, the hell they want, right? So, anyways, I'm going to make this a wrap. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Keep compounding your info. Shaka. Peace. I'm out.